So, second time lucky. Uh, just checking that you guys can hear me. Uh, and this transmission energy from outside in my backyard is actually working. Uh, the internet. Welcome, welcome. So, just checking in that you guys can hear me okay. You can shoot a message. Hey, Amy. So really, uh, I'll just wait for a moment or two for people to hop on. Um, Saturday morning here in uh, East Coast Australia. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, Amy. So um, just waiting for people to tune in, check in, arrive in the space. Hey, Leslie. So really, uh, this is just a, uh, a check-in around the solstice energies that have been quite strong um, as we move into the solstice next Tuesday evening here in Australia. Um, a powerful, powerful time. I feel like uh, it's been quite a week of, of clearing, cleansing, purging, releasing. Uh, a lot of uh, deep heart stuff, a lot of um, old energy, density, old heaviness um, that we have been, uh, uh, hey, 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 Leslie, uh, that we have been sort of diving into collectively and also individually as we, um, as we move towards the solstice and I feel a very uh, deep pivot point, this June energy. I think things will start rolling um, in a new direction, in many new directions, into July. But uh, definitely, I've always been feeling that June is a time um, when you know we've got we've got to do some deep work so that we can um, so that we can move forward. So this feels like a, a bit of a uh, a less battle with some of these energies that we have been working with for quite some time. Um, to try and move forward and release these very deep wounds, these very deep traumas, these very deep um, past life energetics that w don't really serve us anymore, so that we can move forward in our in our mind space, in our in our physical, and in our work. Uh, so this is really a transmission to um, to say, hold on, do not lose faith, do not lose hope, do not lose your tenacity to, to keep uh, trying, to, to keep going. It has been quite heavy duty recently, the energies, and a lot of deep emotion as we really come face to face with our own shadows so that we can move forward. And this, this is one of the, the deepest purges I've felt for some time in the last week or so. Been quite, um, quite heavy going. Um, so I thought I'd just connect and, and bring through some energies for us all, for our hearts, really. I know I did a transmission for our hearts um, probably about a week ago. But it does feel like there's been so much density in the last week releasing that I just want to bring through a bit more support. Um, I mentioned this skull earlier in the week uh, on my wall. And um, it's, I, I called her acceptance, yeah? And she's, I call her um, mm, acceptance because she's got all these different parts that she's made of. Some of them don't really fit, or so you would appear. Some of them don't really fit. Um, there's lots of strange pieces to her, lots of different colors. But all together, as you add up all these different pieces of her into one whole um, collective skull, if you will, collective energy collective beingness she's kind of um, strange looking she's kind of um, different looking but she's also very beautiful in her uniqueness in her um, 
in her strangeness, <laughs> in her all of all of her parts that we we can tune in together to make a whole, which is perfectly um, divine and special. Yeah. So she is giving us the gift of of acceptance of all of us, the parts that we don't like so much, the parts that are here right now in our energy field for clearing, the parts that we have thought we're done with but are, are back again for another round of examination. You know, um, yeah, she reminds me of me too, Leslie. <laughs> and um, she's here just to really, to bring acceptance, as her name speaks, acceptance to all these parts where we feel we're broken or we're damaged or uh, we're never going to get over that, whatever feeling we're feeling around, whatever. So this is about acceptance of what is, that we are more than our stories, that our, we are more than the energies that we are releasing, that we are more than the um, what has been done to us this life or other lives, that we are are going to step through this solstice portal, solstice portal, and be renewed, rebirthed, re-energized, and uh, reactivated on purpose, on purpose, and um, in alignment. Uh, you know, many people are coming to me lately for sessions, saying, "Oh my goodness, I feel so lost. I've lost my passion. I'm not sure where I'm headed. Um, I just feel a bit flattened down and blah de blah." And, and I think that's part of the course right now, yes? We haven't actually moved into the new way yet. We haven't actually moved into a new energy yet. We are still integrating um, and releasing so that we can be rebirthed in, in the coming um, Ju uh, July, August uh, energy. So, um, I really feel that we have to rem remember to hold on right now, to hold each other, to hold on, to remind ourselves that we're not supposed to know. We're not supposed to know what's next. You know, we're supposed to just be where, where we're at. And, and that isn't always comfortable. And that isn't always pretty. And that is all sometimes voidal in nature. But that doesn't mean that we're failing. That doesn't mean that we're going backwards. That doesn't mean that we've lost our lost our mission. It just means that we're in transition. Yeah, April. That means that we're just in transition. So this divine feminine skull is really about acceptance in our, our own, as, as she says, is acceptance for self. And she is also working with the divine aspect of the collective and our own channels yeah so let me just bring through a little bit of energy from her this morning um firstly to say hey you, you know you're doing okay let go let go let go surrender surrender to what is there's nothing to be there's nothing to do right now it's just a matter of allowing the releasing to to unfold and to um shuri abaya la 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 to unfold and to to let this energy do what it needs to do at the moment that th these are deep releases that we're going through not only us for ourselves but for all um all the collective fields really so that we are can re re uh, revise ourselves revise our energies revise our missions revise our chakra system so let me bring through some acceptance from acceptance and then we will continue <coughs> Gashkota de Porcomba de Panda de Peripari Peripurgamatica Paranda to keep a parkan, but to keep a parkandak. Paraport de Parapanda de Kipadanana Caparcadanaka. Parkiunda de Parkian to take parkan to take parkan to keep a tiki. Porcoto to the tipaning and the nicaparian than a kipotakandiki. Porititic putting and not a potacatacata porcan that a carpur contest capotiki. Paracan that a kipotacamba de can put the parkan that kipotacandica porcatiki. Porcoto to take parkan that a kipotacanda to take a parkanda to take a parkanda to take a parkanda to take a Take a break.
just feeling into the energy of this stillness of the peace that comes over our being when we uh, work with the vibration of acceptance that we release the resistance of the change of the transition we release the need to know what's next and we uh, surrender into the now moment in peace and stillness which is is, is therefore allowing um, the al alchemical transition to be more smooth within the physical vessel of course most of us are you know quietly resisting the process <laughs> um, because yes as much as we w would wish ourselves to grow and expand and change the the ego and the sense of knowing is is strong to to keep us in the same same yeah so you know this is uh, the human experience this is where we're at this is what is happening and that's fine just the way it is if you look back you're resisting that much much less than you used to you're going through with the flow much more than you um, than you used to you are stronger and more resilient than you used to be so all is going in a forward motion even if it feels like we're in stagnation and dense energy right now that dense energy is part of the purge out that needs to come to the surface in the collective so that we can enlighten the beingness of ourselves it's okay it won't last forever you know I looked back on a post I posted for this time last year and it was a similar feeling a similar sort of hang on to your hang on to yourself hang on to your energies we're in a deep purge this is what happens at these solstice portals at these equinox portals we go through massive um, upgrades of light and so it's it we just forget <laughs> we just forget that it's tricky at this time at these times and you know whatever's going on in the world may or may not accentuate that pro personal process but it's just we're doing it on a successively deeper and deeper layers of, of energy yeah so the next piece I wish to work with is this uh, ochre agate heart yeah ochre agate heart um, and really this is for the auric field for the auric field and this is to imprinting the uh, the fire code light symbols of light language of integration of dark and light energy of integration of dark and light energy so this is the marriage of dark and light the marriage of duality where we polarize and separate dark and light where we polarize and separate um, negative emotions from so-called positive emotions and where we split and polarize within our being um, good and bad aspects or emotions so these these energies are are going to be imprinted as fire code light language symbols into the auric field of our light body and this is to help merging of uh, a, a different aspects of ourself um, different timeline aspects so that we can come back into true alignment ready for this um, solstice energy yeah so all you have to do is listen to the sound focus on the uh, the symbols that I draw in the uh, in the ether if you wish and these are going to be light codes for the light body
So take a breath. Feeling the, the lightness and the expanded quality of that energy. If you wish to comment, I'd love to hear what you felt during that transmission. And finally, I just want to work with a, a little uh, carnelian dragon, yeah, carnelian flying dragon, yeah. He wishes to come in to remind us of our wings, you know, our energetic back of the heart and our expansive nature, so that when we fall into um, hopelessness or lack of faith or um, uh, depressive energies that we can uh, remember to lighten up to release these energies to, to open up the back heart and expand through the back heart and up and, and it, this is kind of like going to be like an orange cloak that's going to come from the back heart all the way over our energy body um, and it's to, to bring in um, passion to bring in creativity to bring in um, flow. So it's working on the back heart and the scapula at the shoulder blades. Kushkanda de Barganda, a Barganda, a Borgondo, the Repetric Botaganda, a Boganda, a Burganda, a Pishkido to the Rogondo, a Barganda, a Gadigi, Gilebargiano, Orco, 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 Pitti 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 Porco, Banana, a Barganda, a Barcoto, Belepe, Bocar, Kikar, Kikar, Kika, Shonda de Badigi, Kuka, Kiko, Shonda de Piki, Kaka, Kaka, Oshki, a la Bargiana, a Goto de Dedede, Ishkeporeana, a Toto de Dedede, she put to todo de borgondo rogondo rogondo de da parganda pere 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 corco 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 pere parana nana capa parganda da parkianda rana nana ca so just take a breath or two Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, I have posted the Solstice transmission on my wall here on Facebook. Uh, it will be a one hour transmission and it will be in, on 6 p.m. Uh, East Coast uh, Queen, uh, Queensland time, uh, Australia. Um, uh, Tuesday evening. So please sign up for that. You can book in via um, uh, via the Facebook uh, link below. I'll post it below too. Um, so please join. Please join if you feel to um, connect with that group. Yeah. And uh, should be a powerful transmission. Um, expansive. A continuation of the process that we're going through. A deepening of the heart space. Of, the, of mission. Of, of connecting, I feel again, here uh, in Australia with Uluru. As, as others connect with the tour in England, as others connect with Shasta. Uh, every, the tribe are doing their earth work all over the globe at the moment. Uh, it's very proud to be a part of this community at this time. And um, always grateful for you, um, your presence at the energetic groups that I do because it brings in the etheric field, the, 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 the bowl, the energetic container of frequency that we are coll collectively creating to support change on the planet and activate the grids, the dragon lines, the uh, chakras, the, um, the divine feminine lines that we've been working with in the previous groups. It's all coming online now, guys. We've been preparing for, for many years for this. Um, so I'm just so grateful for you um, to have you here uh, doing the work with me. So thank you so much. I'll post this on YouTube later and post also this on my wall so you can re-listen when you're feeling a bit heavy or caught in the density or call it caught in the um, the despair really of these energies that are coming up to release. So remembering you're not alone, remembering this is part of the process um, of, of lightening up, releasing what no longer serves. So thank you so much for tuning in and um, always available for one-on-one -on -one sessions, of, of course, as well. Yeah. So thank you so much. 
Uh, take care. Have a beautiful day. I look forward to connecting soon. Much love. Bye-bye.